Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia, broadcast for today. The 48th issue of the Western Armenian weekly newspaper has been published. The land of Ararat is the place of human creation, Angel Tadian. The right of return of the people of Artsakh under international protection and guarantees should be put on the negotiation agenda. Martin Uskanyan. Western Armenia, Varagavang. New look of the new park of Ahakalaki. In Amaisa, the bones found may belong to Armenians. I will hold the Artsakh Karatek Kushin with my chief Armen Petrosyan. The photos of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosyan, and the President of the National Council of Western Armenia, Mr. Armenak Abrahamian, are on the cover of the new issue of the Western Armenia Weekly Newspaper. In the issue, you can read about the following topics. Preparatory meeting of the expert mechanisms for the rights of indigenous peoples, which the spokesperson of the Western Armenia delegation, Lydia Margosyan, attended. References to the topic of ethnic cleansing of Artsakh made at the first session of the UN Rights Council. The speech of President Mr. Armena Gabriel at the 17th session of the expert mechanisms on the rights of indigenous peoples. President Armena Gabriel speech on the importance of Treaty of Severus and the recognition of the state of Western Armenia. Article about the need to preserve indigenous languages and peoples. The congratulatory message of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Markosyan, to the newly elected President of Iran, Masoud Bezeshkian. The importance of strengthening the participation of indigenous peoples in the United Nations. In the 48th issue of the Western Armenia Weekly Newspaper, you can learn about the regular sessions of the Western Armenian National Assembly and the government, the speech of the Speaker of the Government, as well as other cultural and social topics. Armenian, English, French and Turkish versions of the weekly newspaper can be downloaded from the link below. The new magazine of Western Armenia, presenting the historical facts, continues its mission in favor of the protection and promotion of the rights of native Armenian people of the Armenian Plateau. In an interview with the live Armenian news website, the head of the Department of Archaeology and Medieval History of Yerevan History Museum historian Angel Abdelian revealed the mysterious and charming world of Armenian mythology, referring to the ancient beliefs that connect the region of humanity with the Armenian highlands, where the gods once lived before creating men. According to Sumerian mythology, the Armenian highlands were previously inhabited by gods those gods who later created humans. However, uncovering this mythological myth is difficult because Armenian written sources were largely destroyed in 301 after the adoption of Christianity as the state religion. Thus, the exact history has not reached us. The hard work of rebuilding the planet Earth was done by the younger generation. After doing the hard work for a long time, they rebelled and proposed to create a race that would do the work for them. This is how the human race was created. The god left their traces by creating a monument, some of which have been found, such as Portasari in Western Armenia. The name of the god who created people was Armenian, and thus the created man was called Armenian, and the place of creation was called Ararat, that is, the place of creation. The area inhabited by Armenians was called Haik. According to Angela Terian, these myths and stories are not only part of our historical heritage, but also revealed the depths of our identity, confirming the permanent connection of the Armenian people with their roots and native land. The right of the united return of the people of Artsakh under international protection and guarantees should be put on the negotiation agenda, said the former Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Eastern Armenia, Vartan Oskanyan. He noted that there will be support from the international community in this matter. According to the former Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Armenia, the people of Artsakh suffered this fate because of the mistakes of the government of Eastern Armenia. Let's not let them continue their mistakes, added Toskanyan. Varagavank, an Armenian monastic complex in the historical Vaspuragam province. It was built in the 7th century and is located in the southeast of the city of Van, on the western slope of Varaga mountain. It was the residence of the Archbishop of Van. It was destroyed during the Great Genocide. According to the myth, the monastery was built during the reign of King Senekerim Hovannes of Vaspuragan. But there were religious structures here before that. The oldest building of the complex is the St. Sophia Church, 10th century. 
It is built of human hand stone and has a dome and hole design. In the north, there is the Church of St. Hovannes and the St. Astvatatin Church, adjacent to the St. Nishan Church, 11th century. The courtyard was built in 1648 by the architect Tiratura. A competition was announced for the construction of a park in the former 15th township of Ahalkalaki. Applications are accepted from August 22 up to 28. The works will be carried out in two stages, in 2024 and 2025. 300,000 Georgian lari was allocated in 2024 and 848,507 lari will be allocated in 2025. According to the competition, it is planned to build a small stadium in the new park, a bicycle track, an area with exercise equipment, a children's playground, two pavilions, etc. The garden will have various plants, decorative lighting and benches, as well as water. As Adam of Sisyan, head of infrastructure service of the municipality, mentioned, if there are participants and the tender is held on time, they hope to complete the works in 2025 as planned. During the excavations carried out by Turkish archaeologists, human bones were found from ancient graves in the Amasya region of Western Armenia. This discovery is combined with 2,000-year-old tombs from the Roman period. However, it is not excluded that the discovered bones belong to Armenians. Armenians have settled in Amasya since ancient times, and many historical monuments of the region testify to this. DNA testing is needed to identify the bones. As a result of the exhibitions, three ancient graves were discovered, one of which, according to archaeologists, is considered to be a family tomb from the Roman period. However, due to damage to the graves, the excavations were stopped. After that, specialists from Archaeological Museum of Amazia arrived at the site and studied the discovered graves. Museum teams have resumed excavations, collecting and preserving more than 40 bones, fragments of different sizes, which were found in graves one after another. Let's remember that Amasa was the center of the Sanjak of the same name in Sebastia, Vilayat, where Armenians lived for centuries and created their cultural heritage. Unfortunately, in 1915, the Armenians of Amasa and surrounding settlements were forcibly displaced, and most of them died on the way to immigration. After September 2023, when Armenians from Artsakh were forcibly displaced from their homeland and moved to Armenia under the threat of Azerbaijani genocide and ethnic cleansing in Artsakh, Armen Petrosyan decided that he should continue his mission in Armenia as well as to teach the youth and young people of Artsakh the sport of Kyokushin, as he taught for years in Artsakh. In Artsakh, Armen Petrosyan held the position of the head of the Department of Extracurricular Program of the Ministry of Education and worked for 15 years at the Artsakh Republican Children's and Youth Sports School as a Kyokushin karate coach. So he decided to gather teenagers and young people under one roof in Armenia. Artsakh Kyokushin Karate Sports Club return has been operating for more than 10 months. The name is not accidental, because anyone learning that sport and mastering its skills should have the goal of returning to Artsakh. In a conversation with journalist Armen Petrosyan said that the sport club started operating and held several competitions due to Louis Foundation, with which he signed the 10-month cooperation agreement. We already have two teams, 71 students. 64 people are from Artsakh and seven students are from Yerevan. There are goals to increase the number of groups from September in order to have a job and to keep our young people from Artsakh united, where the dialect will also be preserved, he mentioned. This was all for today. Goodbye.